Gentlemen's guide here. You know, the single most common thing that guys ask me about girls has to do with texting, i.e. how to text girls in a way that'll make her want to meet up with you for a date. Now at first, I was kind of hesitant to talk about this topic because personally, I'm the type of guy who prefers seducing girls in person as opposed to text, so most of my advice is geared more towards interacting with girls in real life. But after doing some thinking, I can now understand why it's such an in-demand topic. After all, this is 2019. And most guys nowadays trying to find a girlfriend will probably try online dating apps like Tinder or OkCupid. So whether you need help texting a Tinder match or a girl that you've already met, here are some key principles that'll help you seduce her through text. Keep in mind that this is actually the first video of a four-part series that'll really lay the foundation of my approach to texting girls. So stay tuned for the second video coming out next week. Now on to the video. I think where we should start is with the mindset you should have when texting a girl. You see, so many guys have this entitled pushy vibe when texting. They'll text something, and if for some reason she doesn't respond, or if she responds with only a few words, these guys will take it personally. Like, oh, why isn't she texting back? How dare she? And start to text her more aggressively. Things like, what are you up to? What are you doing? Why aren't you texting back? And let me tell you, this type of response will automatically trigger a red flag for the girl, because she'll see that you're actually an insecure weirdo with nothing better to do than to text her the same few boring pushy questions, and she'll definitely not want to meet up with you. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't persist with texting girls. If she's not responding, or she's only giving you one-word responses, you definitely should keep texting her, because why not? You have nothing to lose. But it's how you go about persisting that matters. Instead of having the entitled mentality I just described, try having a fun-giving mindset instead, meaning that, no matter what response she gives you, just add some humor, some fun, instead of expecting much from her. Send her a random joke, or a meme. Or maybe just say a random story about something crazy that happened to you that day. Even if she says nothing else except haha, that's still better than nothing. And much better than you just asking, hey, what are you up to? When you just inject some fun, she won't feel like you're trying to get something from her. And if she doesn't respond, it's not nearly as awkward, because it's not like you were rejected by asking her for something. All you did was send her a funny text. Instead of being the guy that she knowingly rejected, you're just the guy who sent her a funny text and she never responded back. And the next time you send her a random funny text, a lot of the times they'll text back. Girls change their minds all the time depending on their emotions, so using fun and humor in this way is a great way to persist. Now, injecting fun and humor into the convo isn't the only thing you should do. Obviously, at some point, you're gonna have to try to get her out on a date. But the point is to inject fun, friendly banter in between each time you ask her out. Too many guys make the mistake of doing nothing but repeatedly asking her to meet up. Something like, hey, wanna hang out this weekend? Hey, we should grab a coffee. Over and over again, which comes across as super pushy. The reason this hardly ever works is because every time a girl rejects you or flakes on you when you ask her out, the more likely she'll keep flaking on you in the future. Meaning that with each cycle of you asking her out and her saying no, it's only gonna keep getting harder and harder for you. The more she says no, the more she'll keep saying no. This is why it's important to space out any attempts at getting her to come out by injecting the fun and humor I mentioned earlier. Now, let's talk about how to actually ask her out. Last year, I learned an awesome principle called indirect logistics from a well-known dating instructor. Basically, the idea is that instead of asking her directly, hey, let's hang out on Saturday, try getting her thinking about the idea of a potential date. Try asking questions about what she'd want to do on a potential date with you. Something like, hey, what's your idea of fun? What's your opinion on going to concerts? Or, you know, some other type of fun activity you could do on a date. And finally, hey, what's your week look like? If she answers back, it'll get her investing and committing to the idea of going on a date with you. The reason why this works so well is because by answering your questions, she's kind of entering your frame, following you as you lead things forward. And by using indirect logistics in this way, instead of just asking her straight up if she wants to hang out with you, you're much less likely to get a rejection because you're not putting as much pressure on her. And one last thing, I know this might sound crazy to say in 2019, but if you've met this girl before, maybe try calling her, or even better, get her on FaceTime or something. Based on my own experience, when I ask a girl out on a phone call, the chances of her flaking are much less. This is because humans naturally connect by hearing another person's voice. It hits us on a much deeper and much more powerful level. So if the texts are going well, consider calling her up if you're feeling bold. That's it for part one of the text series. Next week, I'll dive deeper into common types of texts that girls will send and how to respond to each one, so click here to subscribe and stay tuned.